everyone and welcome back to another decimals project video um so remember last time uh we finished this person's face um and just looking back at the clip art as reference um we're making pretty big changes to get this guy looking the way we want him to look um and just come to think of it there's still one more thing that we have got to finish and this one is okay so this is something that i will come back to later parabolas are scalable uh so let's do oh. Let's see anything with tamper with this around a little bit. Okay, not worth it. It's it will adjust be uh be wasting your time right now, which is what I don't want to do. Okay, uh so I'm gonna refer back to the clip art. Um So this person has his arms out to to the side, uh, not like completely touching himself or not touching his body, um, but just kind of about to the side, and shape that that it looks a lot like is this parabola right here. Uh, not a perf. Well, it's what well, the well the vertex of this parabola isn't. Isn't like right at the bottom of this head. It's moved up a bit. So move this up to more appropriate. Um, just referring back to this. So the pictures I'm using three really seems like a good number. And then uh, to finish off his arms, let's use another one. We're using a lot of parabolas today. And as, as for the Y value, um, it's gonna be, What is that point? Point seven one six. Uh, and it's gets shifted up. Should be k minus two. Um, then let's put this to. Let's end this at around here, negative two. It's up and okay, it looks like we still need to move this up. K minus two. What is going on? Okay, now this moves. This one is just bothering me. Plus k minus two. But yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm aware there are terms that can be combined. Um, but right now we're just quickly getting things. This graph it plus k minus two. So yeah, when I when I see plus k minus two, I I I know what's going on here. 
because we're going up by k and then we're sub and we're going down by two units. All right. Uh, let's see what else we have. The shape that I'm looking at. Uh, so if we're using the same picture, um, I'm looking at the sleeves and seems like an exponential graph would fit. It's exponential because well, one reason is that I don't like I don't want to like keep on using parabolas over and over again or circles over and over again and and, and bore and um and bore the living life out of you. Uh, so let's. So we can calculate exponential graphs for now. So, so uh, let's start with the classic e, e to the x exponential. Uh, so what is zero? It's one. So you keep that in mind. And this is negative three point two four. So we add. Four. I'm going to subtract two. And let's go subtract one again. So we're going to subtract a total of three. So now this is passing through this point exactly. Well, not exactly because it's a decimal. We should flip this the other way. I want to look at the shape again. And I'm pretty happy with it. So let's have this finish off at around here. What is that point? Negative 2.5 and negative 2.53. 2, negative 5, 3. All right, and then let's finish this off. With let's see what's a good one. So with exponential graphs, like I can like almost guarantee I can guarantee almost every single time that that's, that's gonna go through that exact point. So so since I know this point exactly, I'm gonna fit another exponential graph on there. Except do we face another E? Change it up. No particular reason, like they're all yeah, they all work the same way. Found some parentheses. I have to be careful if we're gonna do it like that. You change the base. Okay, so if the base is higher then, then we can get like a nicer shape. I, sh I should have known that. Is eight enough? You want ten? And I lost that parabola. There we go. Wait. What is that? That uh, if you pick any exponential graph, it will pass through zero comma one. So so we can use that to our advantage here. So let's move this over to negative three point two four. No, what am I doing? It's not reaching there. It should be minus 2.53. And we're going to go down by
Okay, so first I do apologize for, for getting cut off right there. Um, so, so we're still, it's okay, we're still, still here. Um, so this is a Y value, so this should be going down by 5.3, but where is this at? This is at 2.5. So not five oh I know what's wrong I need to go down by one more okay and this negative shouldn't be there because it's fine like that okay now now that now that we're this step we can pick um we can pick the face so ten is actually too much start cutting to To a to more appropriate number. Yeah, e is still still a seems to be one in this case. This e is like right in between. Two is too much. What well, two is not going up enough. Three is going up too much, and e is like that right balance. And uh, and conveniently we can just you know, say y is less than zero just for convenience, um, and then and then uh, it's going to go negative two, five two three. So this is one sleeve done. Let's fill that in. Uh, to make our life easier, just to see what we're going to mirror over, I want to color these two lines green. Uh, this is actually the same line. It's on the same curve. As you can see right here. Um, and then with these two, I'm just going to just mirror them over. So I'm going to show you how to mirror them over. So first, we need to make the positive x's negative and negative x's positive. And then uh, and we're going to just send this over to the other side. So the y values are are okay. Uh, and instead of plus three point two four, do minus plus four, do minus, and it is successfully mirrored over. All right. So next time uh, we're gonna uh, I want to add the hand in because the picture I'm looking for I'm looking at right now got a hand right here. And then the bottom of the shirt starts from the hand. So, see, before we go, change this up. And I normally say, see my work, work, um, look what I'm not recording, but this time, just good practice, just to, just to make sure they all do it. All right. So, that is it for, for today's video, and I will see you next one.